I'm Joseph Hashim from Melbourne, Australia. You know, to be able to, um, to come back to the US after the World Series this year, and it's my first trip back, and my first tournament back, and kick some ass, feels good. And that, like, you know, um, I'm always grateful to make any final table because they're so hard to make. You know, and uh, this one is a this one was special for me because last year I was so close in this event and I got nutted, like I flopped top set and got nutted at a very crucial point. Um, so to come back this year and go all the way, I hope I can take the title down. This WPT, the Five Diamond event, is probably the toughest event in the world. There's more pros in comparison to amateurs that play in this event than any other event. And uh, there were no easy tables. I had a tough table of pros day one, day two, day three, day four. It was just like, you know, um, you, had to work, you had to earn every chip that you, that you got. Um, and my tournament style is generally that I, I start off pretty slow and just, you know, build my stack up slowly without taking too many risks. And that's worked well so far. Um, I had a little bit of a rush yesterday, early on during the day, when I became chip leader and took down a few pots. And I think I busted more people yesterday than I've busted in my whole career. It was just it was sick what was happening, you know. Um, but the tournament's progressing well. Um, the last three hours of the tournament, the last two levels, I struggled a lot. I was card dead and, and kept on getting second best. Um, so, and being tired, I had to show a lot of patience to just not pull the trigger and, and go crazy, you know, because that can really happen at that stage of the tournament. You, say, you can say, stuff it, you know, um, I'm going to make a stand now. But the goal yesterday was to get to the final table today. I'm at the final table. I've got 2.3 million chips. Um, I think I'm 13 chips at the moment, which is fine. Uh, let's play it and see where we go. The honest truth, with the structure at the final table and the amount of chips compared to blinds, everyone's a threat. You know, we have a little bit of play, but we don't have that much play, unfortunately. And that's just the nature of the game. Um, we've had a lot of play up until now. Um, but because everyone's hovering around two million plus, one bad hand and, you know, you know I mean, obviously people like Daniel, who isn't going to put his chips in without having a good hand, Mads Anderson, um, young David next to me, he may make a move, but he's not silly either, you know. And the other two, Ed and uh, Jim, I think, you know, I think they're waiting for premium hands as well. So you're probably going to find that either people are going to lose patience and make it push a move, or it's going to be big hand against big hand.